Today I'm going to be having a look at a poncho from the European budget supermarket chain Little. It's quite light, one size fits all. It states that it can be used as a tent awning for rainwater collection or as a blanket to sit on and of course as a poncho. Without further ado we'll get a we'll get it opened up and get a look at it. Out of the pack it looks like it's down to around my knees. I'd be around about six foot so that should give you a kind of perspective on the on the sort of size. We'll just get this thing on and see what it's like. So the wee press studs are already closed when you get it under the arms there. This is kind of sold along with the fishing gear that's currently in little so it's kind of going along that line but I thought it'd be very good as a really as a bushcraft poncho slash tarp kind of emergency tarp emergency blanket type thing it's quite light small packs down quite small and the and the big thing about it is the price 12 or 13 euro either way a lot lot cheaper than the uh, than ponchos you'll get anywhere else I suppose of this type. My initial impression is it could be a little bit longer it's just around about the knees there so I would prefer if it was just a wee bit longer if you're a bit shorter than six foot this will suit you. And so it's then we under the arm things there's some wee press studs which I'm not a big fan of because I'm always a bit hesitant that it's going to if they're too tight no, they're all right. Yep, they're not so tight that they're going to tear the material or damage it or anything. And so at your four corners, you've got these uh, eyelets here, reinforced eyelets, steel. And on the long side, you have like a strap there, a strap eyelet for tying out. And it's only got one on the long side. On the short side, it has four four eyelets. It's one in each corner and two evenly spaced along. The material inside here looks like it's completely waterproof. I would have no doubt that that's completely waterproof. And I would say it's a decent decent size for a tarp too. Not sure of the exact measurements, but I would say maybe one and a half by two meters. And the hood has a little peak on it there keeping the rain out of your eyes and these wee boys here for tightening it down, cinching it down and this part here underneath the chin is all totally sealed but what we'll do now is we'll we'll get it up see what it's like as a tarp So that's the poncho up behind me there as a tarp or a kind of a makeshift rain shelter I suppose. It's a bit limited in the way you can sort of set it up because of the hood but I suppose that's kind of expected. The way you see it there now is kind of more or less about the only way you can set it up without the possibility of rain getting in through the hood and stuff. As a quick rain shelter it would be fine but for sleeping under or something like that I would say no it's too short because because you can only set it up that way there that's only around about a meter and a half my main concern would be water getting through the hood the way it's set up there I have the I don't have a very steep angle on the on the sides coming down here you need a slightly steeper angle just to ensure that the rain would can go past the hood opening and run down to the bottom of the tarp see this pocket is kind of hanging down here too and here another thing as well another problem as well is if this opening comes open like that and you're certainly going to get water coming in there so you need to ensure that that's closed and tightening the tarp might have a tendency to sort of open that open that up so I don't know but anyway yeah but when everything's closed up and sealed up and stuff and you have a steep enough angle on the on the sides it should run the water off no problem whatsoever I suppose what it's marketed as is a poncho and uh, it can be a tent awning or something for collecting water or something to sit on for those things it does those things well 
you know it's definitely not going to be usable as a as a normal tarp to provide you with a shelter or something like that um, because of the way you can only configure it that particular way there it'll be too short I suppose to, to lie under really and a pinch it would do yeah it's worth the 13 euro anyway it does what it says it's supposed to do so if you watched this far thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one